Okay, it's here. The it's JEM 77 WDP, and uh, it's just a box for right, right now. I stopped the FedEx guy right in the middle of the street because he couldn't figure out where which house it was. So hopping and waving, going over to the vehicle, and he saw my excitement. He goes, "Why in the hell is this guy jumping up and down?" And I said, "It is a." He goes, "What's in this?" And I go, "It's a JEM 77 WDP." Oh, okay, you really know your stuff. And I'm like, well, it's a guitar. And he goes, oh, that makes sense. And this thing's not focusing for some reason. There we go. So anyway, I'm going to open it up and uh, see what we got. Okay. So far... Focus for the love of Pete. There we go. Just a box. So far. One thing that I do want to say here is that it uh, looks like it was opened and shut before. So as I was cutting soap, well, that's not open yet. But that was already open and I don't know what's going on here with that. Oh my, there we go. Get the sharp knives away. Ah, uh, here we go. Hang on a second. Let these down boxes. A little Steve Eye in the background. Okay, never had an Ibanez before, never had a gem before, never had anything but Les Pauls. And this is just as exciting as when I got my Les Paul, so I'm really set. Oh my. Oh yeah. Wow. The uh Huh. I am speechless. I mean, if some of you guys have seen this before, I have not. Oh, the action's good too, I can just tell already. Wow. All right, I gotta put the camera down and fall in love with this guitar, test it out, put it through its paces. I have no idea how to use one of these, but I'm gonna learn. And uh, so far, oh yeah, oh that's nice and smooth like that. Oh yeah, I'm focusing on that. Focus. This camera's a pain in the ass. Oh, well, anyway. Oh my God, I love this thing. Getting the light so you can see us. Wow. It's my big old muffin here. Let me see that. Enough recording. I'm gonna start playing because uh, that's what it's about. Well, just sharing this experience with you guys. I love it, and I'll talk to you all later. Oh, I do want to say that Chappers and the Captain were right. You do get a nice little. Allen wrench set here, whatever else this is. And a manual that comes in probably more languages that I know goes through the whole dynamics of how to do this in five billion languages. Okay, gonna go jam. One thing else I do want to say that's important for you guys: if you buy from Z Zounds, those guys. 
do a great job. I've bought two guitars so far from them. And I know everybody likes Sweetwater and AMS as well. But I'm trying to get this. My serial number, the one I picked, there was four choices. And I like the woodwork on the one that I picked. And I'll show you here. It's the design, that little lightened area by the the Edge 2 tremolo. I know I got the one because one I got the serial number, but they really do put their money where their mouth is, or I should say their actions. And uh, my guitar is undamaged and very nice, and I appreciate it. So if you're going to buy from Z Zounds, um, I've bought two so far, and I, I buy in confidence. So just throwing that out there, not getting paid by them or anything to plug them, but I do appreciate their efforts. So I thought I'd throw that in there. Okay, one more thing to say. The tremolo bar was not in the case. I thought it was in my jubilation, but uh, it was not in there. So called Z-Zounds. They're going to send one out. And I uh, don't know what happened to that. But uh, I thought maybe, well, it's in this compartment. It's all black encasing here. Nice, furry stuff here but um nope not in there and uh i'm not discouraged a little bum but that's minor compared to what i got here so but uh anyway thought i mentioned that they're willing to take care of it free of charge and um while it is an inconvenience i'm not sweating it so i wanted to throw that out so when you get one of these new i've been or new tremolos you might want to make sure you got all the pieces there where you go jumping for joy, but uh, anyway, back to playing.